of this up. conference will now be recorded. Instead of doing those little flip overs on the back of the pillow and then try to shove um, that pillow in there, some of the Kimberbell folks want something more particular. <laughs> so what I did is I took the back and I cut it the same size as it called in the pattern, but I put an invisible zipper in it. Voila. And so it'll work fine. It's easy. And once you see how easy it is, you'll do this because it is nicer than trying to shove it in between those two flaps, except for when you get the fabric caught in the zipper because you didn't press. Hey, Carol. Yes? You're upside down. She likes standing on her head. <laughs> Am I really? It, for yes. every, not for, oh, okay. All right. Is it just not me? me. It, of course it's just you, Janelle. Yeah, you're special. It's just you. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll turn myself upside down. Stand on your head. Yourself. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is show you what the invisible zipper foot looks like. Um, no, this doesn't come with the machine. This is an optional accessory. And it really looks weird, and it has just that one hole. But if you flip it over on the back side, do you see the two grooves? So that's where the channel of the, um, with the teeth on the invisible zipper will go in those grooves. So for Viking, we have a clear one. And I'm using the metal one. They did make a newer style metal one. It's just a little smaller. I honestly don't know why they changed it. They both work. They all work. Um, and then we have one, the FOF. I only have a clear one for the FOF. Okay. So <clears throat> now I got to find the right sample. Okay. Okay. So can you show over here so I can? Where's the flipper roofing? Uh, hmm. 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 I don't know. Uh, you can hold it that way, right? Can't you see? But I have to go like this. Okay. All right. So. Tell me if you're on there. I'm on there. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to do, I don't know why it won't pop up. It usually pops up for the roll around. Um, so on your zipper, the first thing you want to do is take your invisible zipper out of the package. And then you want to press the zipper tape kind of so it's flat. But now you have to be careful because the zipper coil is polyester. Did you melt yours? I did not melt mine. I am not an expert. <laughs> so you want to kind of press that out so it's not tunneling up in there. Um, and, and you'll see if you have a zipper in your hand, you can see where you kind of have to flatten it out. So you're going to want to um, use a press cloth or something. Or don't put your iron to the only, only setting I know, H-O-T-T, -T, hot. <laughs> All right. So then I'm going to take. These are my, just pretend these are the two backs of my. If you push the home button, will the thing come up? Uh, I don't want to mess it up, so I'll let you push it. We're going to try to flip. Uh, let's see here. No. No. Let's go to that one. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. So these are the two pieces of the back of my pillow. And they are right sides up. So I'm going to take my invisible zipper and I've unzipped it. And, and you notice I have this little white tape on here. So instead of pinning, I'm going to use the Stitch Perfection Tape from r &K, which looks like that. You can, you can pin. I did one this morning with pins, but it's easier um, not to pin it, honestly. So... I have that on the right side of the zipper. All right. 
And now I'm going to take that and I'm coming over here to the right side. So I'm putting right sides together. And I'm going to put that right on, lining it up with the edge of the fabric. I know this is going to be bigger than the pillow, but um, these pieces are going to make it bigger, but that's okay. You can trim it down after the fact. I just cut it at the same size it said for cutting a bench buddy pillow. All right. So I have it stuck on there. Now I'm going over here to my handy dandy machine. I'm putting on my invisible zipper foot. Maybe. Okay, so I got that on. Now, you know how I was showing you the bottom of the foot where there's two grooves? So all I'm gonna do is I wanna use the left groove on the zipper foot for this one. So I'm gonna tell it to come down. If I push my come down button on your icon or your Epic, you can get to the hover posi position if you don't have it right away. <clears throat> So it's where I want it. You can see the mark on the front of the on the front of the tooth, on the front of the foot. Okay. So all I'm gonna do now, this is very hard. You can whoop, I, I think I didn't push hard enough when I stuck it down. Okay. So once that's in the groove, it's just like using the piping foot. Once you're in the groove, you're good to go. Uh where's the needle down on this so oh there it is. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, you don't have to fuss at all. And come down as far as you can go and go ahead and do a tie off. I'm going to do a fix. And cut. Okay, so I have the one side down. No issues to put it in there slicker than sugar or snot. I guess I'm allowed. Am I allowed to say snot? Mm -hmm. Slicker than snot, right? Okay. So I still have this other piece out here hanging around. I haven't zipped my zipper up. So now I'm going to take. I'm going to take him. This is again. This is the right side of my other piece of the back. this guy on here because this will just dissolve with water but it precludes the need for pins which i do like you could also probably use your glue stick as well all right so right side of fabric right side of the zipper so i'm gonna take him put him on there on that edge See. And again, I did make it bigger than I knew I was going to need it at the end. Press it down. Okay. Okay, this time I'm using the other side of the foot, the other channel on the other side. All right. I'm going to use my hopper to make sure I'm right where I want under the groove. Okay. Come down as far as you can. Do a tie off and cut. Okay. So, of course, if you're doing this for real, at this point, I would have went back to the ironing board and pressed. Come on. <laughs> there you go so i know we didn't sew all the way down 
So at this point, that looks pretty good, huh? Wouldn't you say so? Yep. All right, so we're going to go back over the machine for a second. And now I'm going to put on my regular zipper foot. And that is my Viking regular zipper foot. The Epic 2 is a little smaller than that one. And this is your Foff zipper foot. And uh, a lot of people don't know this is the zipper foot for the Foff. I have people come in all the time and said, I need a zipper foot. And I said, well, it came with your machine. So this part is the front. This is the back of it, so you can use your IDT still. So it goes on like that. And you'll notice just, is there a Carol, question? Could, yes? she, could she zoom in on that, please? Thank, thank you. Okay, you thank it? Yeah, thank you. And, and you can see that you have the post in the center and on the two sides. So just like on the Viking one, you can ride it on either side. Um, but the idea is that you can move your needle position around so that you can get closer to the zipper teeth. Um, so let me see which way I have this. Okay, so. So if I wanted to finish this then, let me see if I got it on the side I want. I don't have it on the side I want. And and I just got to mess around. I always put it on and take it off and they go, no, I don't want it that way. But the idea is that <clears throat> when you're using this foot, and I'm going to do the other one with this foot the whole time. You're just going to come down here and finish. Is that the bottom? Yeah. Okay. So the idea is that foot, you want that foot up against the tape. So that's how you know if you're going in the right direction. And since that wasn't sewn all the way, so I'm gonna just come on down, go right here, stop, pivot, turn it. And you could do this from the top side or the back side. So, okay, I went over too far, so I'm gonna fudge. Okay. And that, that finished sewing the part that wasn't um, attached. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. And, I mean, it looks nice on the pillows, and it, to me it is a lot easier to do. Can you show them that finished pillow? Uh, the Halloween one? Oh, yeah. So Katie has one here. It's the Halloween one. And the zipper was put in right here on the long edge. And you know, you can do that, but it's not really necessary. You could do it down in the middle of the back instead of fussing right in here because you do have a lot of bulk right here. You just do it on the back of the pillow. You don't have as much bulk, bulk um, and it's a little easier to do. So. I actually wouldn't put it down here on the edge. It's just tough. I would run it right down the middle this way. And you know, the zipper doesn't have to be as long as the pillow, as long as you got like 20 inches, which is a pretty standard size, 22 for the invisible zipper. I would just do it on the back instead of trying to fuss down here on this edge. A little tricky, but you can do it. But it's, you know me, I'm about easy. <laughs> okay. So the next one I'm going to show you. Well, do you have any questions on the invisible one? Anybody questions? Anyone? Bueller. <laughs> yeah, Bueller, questions? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to show you this little slick one to do with a regular zipper. Because it'll hide the whole zipper, so if the color's not right on, it's fine. So... We are um, starting to do sweet pea embroideries. And so Karen did a little sample this weekend for one of our first projects that we don't know when we're doing it yet. We're working on the details, but this is a little flag and we are gonna make it into a pillow. So what I had her do is 
I had her um, cut two pieces for the back and I had her divide it in half and then make them a little longer. So what I'm gonna do, you're gonna cut the same length, two and a half inches, okay? And then you're gonna press those wrong sides together to get the nice edge. So now I gotta look at the picture again so I don't get mixed up. Okay. So I'm gonna put the raw edges over here like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pin because it's probably quicker at this point. Scraping the tape off. Okay, so that two and a half inch guy, the raw edge goes against the raw edge. And if you guys know Alex, this is one of the one of the tricks that I've learned from her over the years. And I have a little sample at home that's pinned. So when I forget how to do it, it's there. Okay, so now we're gonna take the just regular zipper. I'm gonna unzip the zipper and I'm gonna put him right side down. Again, matching the seam allowance. The other thing to remember is if you have a Viking epic, is that right? Yeah, epic. Um, and I think it, I think now that I come to think of it, it's on the top too at this point. Um, if you go onto your sewing techniques from the joy of sewing and you click on zippers, you can watch the little video in case you forget or you can't find the recording on this. So now I have, does someone have a question? Okay. So I got right side up. I have my little foldy thing that's gonna be my flap. And I have my needle, uh, have my zipper foot on. I'm gonna put it, put that down. And if I wanted to get a little closer to the tape, I could come over here and use my width key and move my needle like a click or two over. Okay, and you guys can do that on your Viking or your Foff. My only word of caution is don't make it too close because when it gets, when the fabric gets caught in the zipper, that's a pain. If you use the tape, then you don't have to fuss with the pins. Another reason to make it easier. Does that make you nervous? <laughs> All right. So the other thing that I like to do on this is so that I can go all the way down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down a little bit farther and then I'll show you. Okay, I'm going to come down a little bit farther and I'm going to needle down and I'm going to put my presser foot up into the higher position. And then I'm going to take my zipper pull and slide it past where I'm at so I can get in there without having that the little lumpy thing when you go by the head of the zipper or the zipper pull. Okay, then I'm going to come all the way down. Cha-ching, scissors. Okay, so that's one side. So I have my flap and everything sewn in there. I'm gonna finish up like that. So now I'm gonna unzip my zipper again. I'm gonna go over here to my other piece. And now I have to stand on my head to think about this. Okay, so now Right sides, right sides. So I'm going to take him. <clears throat> kind of lined up my edges. Okay. 
put in a pin or two. Again, the raw the raw edge of the fabric is on the raw edge of the tape for the zipper. And I hope you're already not scared to give this a try. <laughs> Because you think you're scared. You should be doing it with Katie at the camera. <laughs> That's really scary. All right. Okay. So now, oops. I want to come the other way. Uh, this way. And so I'm going to unsnap my foot. And you move it over to the other side. Okay. And then I'm going to get it in there to get it started. And again, foot's up along the tape. So now I'm going to again put my needle down, my foot to the highest position so that I can take the zipper pull and put it up, pull it up past there so I don't have a, a lump by going by it. Okay. Make sure I didn't catch anything in there. Not that that would ever happen. Come on down, ka-ching, scissors. All right. Of course, I will press this, but for today, I'm not pressing. So I'm going to pull that up, fold it over. I got my flap ready to sew it on the back of my pillow. And I made it bigger, so I knew I... You know, I knew I can trim it after the fact. Uh, just remember to unzip your zipper three quarters of the way before you sew the back on or you'll be having a fun time. <laughs> All righty. Do you have questions? Talkative group today. Very talkative for a Monday. <laughs> Someone has a question. Okay. Is there a reason that you use pins on a regular tape instead of the zipper tape? No, it's just easier than me pull, pulling the tape off and trying to get it started. I, I prefer to use the tape for the whole process when nobody's watching me. Any other questions? Go that ahead. That was good, Carol. Thank you. You're welcome. You did good. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm here for assistance if you need help. So it's a to me, it's a visual thing. Look, bring it up on your machine and watch it step by step. It's really pretty handy. Uh, but I will post, get the recording posted on the website tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank Bill, you, Thanks. Do you have Thanks. that uh, flag pattern right now for your pillow that you have? I'm working on 4th of July right now. <laughs> do you have that in the shop? Wait. You mean this? That one? No, the one that you were just making with okay. the zipper for the flag. That one. Oh. Oh, no, yes, with the way Sweet Pea works, we will have it the minute you walk in the door and say you want it. And it comes in five sizes. Oh, five sizes, okay. Ooh. This. That one is like the medium one, I think. Six by six, maybe. So. Yeah. yeah.
super cute, huh? Yeah. It, it have... is, and I'm thinking I need this to go with the rest of the ensemble. <laughs> Come on so. in. Okay, uh, do, do I need an appointment if I just leave now and I'm there in 15 minutes? She needs a USB though, right? Oh yeah, bring your USB. Bring your USB for if you want to come in and get sweet pea. Yeah, bring your stick. I will do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. on my way. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. You have a question, Bertie? Yes. So on the sweet peas, so you're going to have the exclusives for the dealer? Yes. Okay. Yes. You meant. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a question, Judy? No. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Thank you. This conference will now be